Arlington County is a county in the Commonwealth of Virginia. It is coterminous with the U.S. Census Bureau census-designated place of Arlington, which is the second-largest principal city of the Washington metropolitan area. As a result, the county is often referred to in the region simply as Arlington, or Arlington, Virginia. In 2015, the county's population was estimated at 229,164, which would make it the fourth largest largest city in the Commonwealth if it were incorporated as such. The land that became Arlington was originally donated by Virginia to the United States government to form part of the new federal capital district of Columbia. On February 27, 1801, a year after moving from the temporary national capital at Philadelphia to the city of Washington, the United States Congress organized the area as a subdivision of the district named Alexandria County. In 1846, Congress returned the land southwest of the Potomac River donated by Virginia due to issues involving congressional representation and the abolition of slavery. The General Assembly of Virginia changed the county's name to Arlington in 1922 to avoid confusion with the adjacent city of Alexandria. The county is situated in northern Virginia on the south bank of the Potomac River directly across from Washington, D.C. Arlington is also bordered by Fairfax County and City of Falls Church to the northwest, west and southwest, and the City of Alexandria to the southeast. With a land area of 26 square miles, Arlington is the geographically smallest self-governing county in the United States, and due to state law regarding population density, has no other incorporated towns within its borders. Due to the county's proximity to downtown Washington, D.C. Arlington is headquarters to many departments and agencies of the federal government of the United States, including the Department of Defense at the Pentagon, Drug Enforcement Administration, Transportation Security Administration, and Defense Advanced Research Projects Agency. It is also home to Ronald Reagan Washington National Airport. The many federal agencies, government contractors, and service industries contribute to Arlington's stable economy. Arlington is also the location of national memorials and museums, including Arlington National Cemetery, the Pentagon Memorial, the Marine Corps War Memorial, and the United States Air Force Memorial. It is the highest income county in the United States. United States by median family income, though it has the highest concentration of singles in the region, according to a 2016 study by Bankrate. Arlington is the best place to retire, with nearby Alexandria coming in at second place. Criteria of the study included cost of living, rates of violent and property crimes, walkability, health care quality, state and local tax rates, weather, local culture and well-being for senior citizens, history, foundation. The area that now constitutes Arlington County was originally part of Fairfax County in the Colony of Virginia. Land grants from the British monarch were awarded to prominent Englishmen in exchange for political favors and efforts at development. One of the grantees was Thomas Fairfax, 6th Lord Fairfax of Cameron, who lends his name to both Fairfax County and the city of Fairfax. The name Arlington goes back to Henry Bennett, Earl of Arlington, the namesake of a plantation, Arlington Plantation, along the Potomac River, and Arlington House, the family residence on that property. George Washington Park Custis, grandson of First Lady Martha Washington, acquired this land in 1802. The estate was eventually passed down to Mary Ann Custis Lee, wife of General Robert E. 
Lee. The property later became Arlington National Cemetery during the American Civil War and eventually lent its name to present-day Arlington County. The area that now contains Arlington County was ceded to the new United States federal government by the Commonwealth of Virginia. With the passage of the Residence Act in 1790, Congress approved a new permanent capital to be located on the Potomac River, the exact area to be selected elected by U.S. President George Washington. The Residence Act originally only allowed the president to select a location within Maryland as far east as what is now the Anacostia River. However, President Washington shifted the federal territory's borders to the southeast in order to include the pre-existing city of Alexandria at the district southern tip. In 1791, Congress amended the Residence Act to approve the new site, including the territory ceded by Virginia. However, this amendment to the Residence Act specifically prohibited the erection of the public buildings otherwise than on the Maryland side of the river, Potomac. As permitted by the U.S. Constitution, the initial shape of the federal district was a square measuring 10 miles on each side, totaling 100 square miles. During 1791-92, Andrew Ellicott and several assistants placed boundary stones at every mile point. Fourteen of these markers were in Virginia and many of the stones are still standing. When Congress arrived in the new capital, they passed the Organic Act of 1801 to officially organize the District of Columbia and placed the entire federal territory, including the cities of Washington, Georgetown, and Alexandria, under the exclusive control of Congress. Further, the unincorporated territory within the district was organized into two counties, the County of Washington to the east of the Potomac and the County of Alexandria to the west. It included all of the present Arlington County, plus part of what is now the independent city of Alexandria. This act formally established the borders of the area that would eventually become Arlington but the citizens located in the district were no longer considered residents of Maryland of Virginia, thus ending the representation in Congress. Retrocession residents of Alexandria County had expected the federal capital's location to result in land sales and the growth of commerce. Instead the county found itself struggling to compete with the Chesapeake and Ohio Canal at the port of Georgetown, which was farther inland and on the northern side of the Potomac River next to the city of Washington. Members of Congress from other areas of Virginia also used the power to prohibit funding for projects, such as the Alexandria Canal, which would have increased competition with the home districts. In addition, Congress had prohibited the federal government from establishing any offices in Alexandria, which made the county less important to the functioning of the national government. Alexandria had also been a major market in the American slave trade, and rumors circulated that abolitionists in Congress were attempting to end slavery in the district. Such an action would have further depressed Alexandria's slavery-based economy. At the same time, an active abolitionist movement arose in Virginia that created a division on the question of slavery in the Virginia General Assembly. Pro-slavery Virginians recognized that if Alexandria were returned to the Commonwealth, it could provide two new representatives who favored slavery in the state legislature. During the American Civil War, this division led to the formation of the state of West Virginia, which comprised the 55 counties in the Northwest that favored abolitionism. Largely as a result of the economic neglect by Congress, the visions over slavery, and the lack of voting rights for the residents of the district, a movement grew to return Alexandria to Virginia from the District of Columbia. From 1840 to 1846, Alexandrians petitioned Congress and the Virginia legislature to approve this transfer known as retrocession. On February 3, 1846, the Virginia General Assembly agreed to accept the retrocession of Alexandria if Congress approved. 
following additional lobbying by Alexandrians, Congress passed legislation on July 9, 1846, to return all the district's territory south of the Potomac River back to the Commonwealth of Virginia, pursuant to a referendum President James K. Polk signed the legislation the next day. The referendum on retrocession was held on September 1-2, 1846. The residents of the city of Alexandria voted in favor of the retrocession, 734 to 116. However, the residents of Alexandria County voted against retrocession 106 to 29. Despite the objections of those living in Alexandria County, President Polk certified the referendum and issued a proclamation of transfer on September 7, 1846. However, the Virginia legislature did not immediately accept the retrocession offer. Virginia legislators were concerned that the people of Alexandria County had not been properly included in the retrocession proceedings. After months of debate, the Virginia General Assembly voted to formally accept the retrocession legislation on March 13, 1847. In 1852, the Virginia legislature voted to incorporate a portion of Alexandria County to make the city of Alexandria, which until then had been only been considered politically as a town. Civil War. During the American Civil War, Virginia seceded from the Union as a result of a statewide referendum held on May 23, 1861. The voters from Alexandria County approved secession by a vote of 958 to 48. This vote indicates the degree to which its only town, Alexandria, was pro-secession and pro-Confederate. The Union loyalists who lived in rural areas outside the town of Alexandria rejected secession. Although Virginia was part of the Confederacy, its control did not extend all the way through northern Virginia. In 1862, the United States Congress passed a law that provided that those districts in which the insurrection persisted were to pay the real estate taxes in person. In 1862, during the war, the federal government confiscated the Abingdon Estate, which was located on and near the present Ronald Reagan Washington National Airport. When its owner failed to pay the estate's property tax in person because he was serving in the Confederate Army, the government then sold the property at auction, whereupon the purchaser leased the property to a third party. After the war ended in 1865, the Abingdon the state's heir Alexander Hunter started a legal action to recover the property. James A. Garfield, a Republican member of the United States House of Representatives who had been a brigadier general in the Union Army during the Civil War and who, later became the 20th President of the United States, was an attorney on Hunter's legal team. In 1870, the Supreme Court of the United States, in a presidential ruling, found that the government had illegally confiscated the property and ordered that it be returned to Hunter, the property containing the home of Confederate General Robert E. Lee's family at and around Arlington House was subjected to an appraisal of $26,810, on which a tax of $92.07 was assessed. However, Lee's wife, Mary Ann Acustis Lee, the owner of the property, did not pay this tax in person. As a result of the 1862 law, the federal government confiscated the property and made it into a military cemetery. After the war ended and after the death of his parents, George Washington Custis Lee, the Lee's eldest son, initiated a legal action in an attempt to recover the property. In December 1882, the U.S. Supreme Court found that the federal government had illegally confiscated the property without due process and returned the property to Custis Lee while citing the court's earlier ruling in the Hunter case.
In 1883, the U.S. Congress purchased the property from Lee for its fair market value of $150,000, whereupon the property became a military reservation and eventually Arlington National Cemetery. Although Arlington House is within the National Cemetery, the National Park Service presently administers the house and its grounds as a memorial to Robert E. Lee. Confederate incursions from four Falls Church, Miners Hill and Uptins Hill, then securely in Confederate hands, occurred as far east as the present-day area of Ballston. On August 17, 1861 an armed force of 600 Confederate soldiers engaged the 23rd New York Infantry near the crossroads, killing one. Another large incursion on August 27 involved between 600 and 800 Confederate soldiers, which clashed with Union soldiers at Ball's Crossroads, Falls Hill and along the modern-day border between the city of Falls Church and Arlington. A number of soldiers on both sides were killed, however, the territory in present-day Arlington was never successfully captured by Confederate forces. Separation from Alexandria In 1870, the city of Alexandria became legally separated from Alexandria County by an amendment to the Virginia Constitution that made all Virginia incorporated cities independent of the counties of which they had previously been a part. Because of the confusion between the city and the county having the same name, a movement started to rename Alexandria County. In 1920, the name Arlington County was adopted after Arlington House, the home of the American Civil War General Robert E. Lee, which stands on the grounds of what is now Arlington National Cemetery. The town of Potomac was incorporated as a town in Alexandria County in 1908. The town was annexed by the independent city of Alexandria in 1930. In 1896, an electric trolley line was built from Washington through Boston, which led to growth in the county. 20th century In 1920, the Virginia legislature renamed the area Arlington County to avoid confusion with the city of Alexandria which had become an independent city in 1870 under the new Virginia constitution adopted after the Civil War. In the 1930s, Hoover Field was established on the present site of the Pentagon in the decade, Buckingham, Colonial Village, and other apartment communities also opened. World War II brought a boom to the county, but one that could not be met by new construction due to rationing imposed by the war effort. In October 1942, not a single rental unit was available in the county. The Henry G. Shirley Highway was constructed during World War II along with adjacent developments such as Shirlington, Fairlington, and Park Fairfax. In February 1959, Arlington County Schools desegregated racially at Stratford Junior High School with the admission of black pupils Donald D. Skins, Michael Jones, Lance Newman, and Gloria Thompson. The U.S. Supreme Court's ruling in 1954, Brown v. Board of Education of Topeka, Kansas had struck down the previous ruling on racial segregation plus E.V. Ferguson that held that facilities could be racially separate but equal. Brown v. Board of Education ruled that racially separate educational facilities were inherently unequal. The elected Arlington County School Board presumed that the state would defer to localities in, in January 1956 announced plans to integrate Arlington schools. The state responded by suspending the county's right to an elected school board. The Arlington County Board, the ruling body for the county, appointed conservatives to the school board and blocked plans for desegregation. Lawyers for the local chapter of the National Association for the Advancement of Colored People filed suit on behalf of a group of parents of both white and black students to end segregation. Black pupils were still denied admission to white schools, but the lawsuit went before the U. 
S. District Court, which ruled that Arlington schools were to be desegregated by the 1958-59 academic year. In January 1959 both the U.S. District Court and the Virginia Supreme Court had ruled against the Commonwealth of Virginia's massive resistance movement, which opposed racial integration. The Arlington County Central Library's collections includes written materials as well as accounts in its oral history project of the desegregation struggle in the county. Arlington during the 1960s was undergoing tremendous change after the huge influx of newcomers in the 1950s. The old commercial districts did not have ample off-street parking and many shoppers were taking the business to new commercial centers, such as Parkington and Seven Corners and suburbs further out in Virginia and Maryland were expanding. Arlington's main commercial center in Clarendon was declining, similar to what happened in other downtown centers. With the growth of these other suburbs, some planners and politicians pushed for highway expansion. The Federal Aid Highway Act of 1956 would have enabled that expansion in Arlington. However, the administrator of the National Capital Transport Agency, economist C. Darwin Stolzenbach, saw the benefits of rapid transit for the region and oversaw plans for a below-ground rapid transit system. Now the Washington Metro, which included two lines in Arlington, initial plans called for what became the Orange Line to parallel I-66, which would have mainly benefited Fairfax County. Arlington County officials called for the station in Arlington to be placed along the decaying commercial corridor between Roslyn and Ballston. That included Clarendon. A new regional transportation planning entity was formed, the Washington Metropolitan Transit Authority. Arlington officials renewed the push for a route that benefited the commercial corridor along Wilson Boulevard, which prevailed. There were neighborhood concerns that there would be high-density development along the corridor that would disrupt the character of old neighborhoods. With population in the county declining, political leaders or economic development as a long-range benefit, citizen input and county planners came up with a workable compromise, with some limits on development. The two lines in Arlington were inaugurated in 1977. The Orange Line's creation was more problematic than the Blue Line's. The Blue Line served the Pentagon and National Airport, and boosted the commercial development of Crystal City and Pentagon City. Property values along the Metro Lines increased significantly for both residential and commercial property. The transformation of Clarendon is particularly striking, with its transformation from a downtown shopping area ensuing decay, home to a vibrant Vietnamese business community in the 1970s and 1980s known as Little Saigon and now is a vibrant urban village. Arlington's careful planning for the metro has transformed the county and has become a model revitalization for older suburbs. 21st century on September 11, 2001, five Al-Qaeda hijackers deliberately crashed American Airlines Flight 77 into the Pentagon, killing 115 Pentagon employees and 10 contractors in the building, as well as all 53 passengers, six crew members, and five hijackers on board the aircraft. In 2009, the construction of Turnberry Tower, the tallest residential building in the Washington metropolitan area, was completed in the Roslyn neighborhood. 1812 and more in in Roslyn, completed in 2014, is the tallest building in the Washington metropolitan area. 
exceeding the nearby Roslyn Twin Towers that were constructed three decades before it. Geography Arlington County is located at 38.88028 degrees north 77.10833 degrees west 38.88028 minus 77.10833 and is surrounded by Fairfax County and the Falls Church to the southwest, the city of Alexandria to the southeast, and Washington, D.C. to the northeast directly across the Potomac River, which forms the county's northern border. Other landforms also form county borders, particularly Miners Hill and Uptons Hill on the west. According to the U.S. Census Bureau, the county has a total area of 26.1 square miles, of which 26.0 square miles is land and 0.1 square miles is water. It is the smallest county by area in Virginia and among the smallest by land area in the United States. About 4.6 square miles of the county is federal property. The county is roughly in the shape of a rectangle 4 miles by 6 miles, with the small end slanting in a northwest-southeast direction. It has no incorporated areas. Its county seat is the census-designated place of Arlington, which is coterminous with the boundaries of the county. However, the county courthouse and most government offices are located in the courthouse neighborhood. For over 30 years, the government has pursued a development strategy of concentrating much of its new development near transit facilities, such as metro rail stations and the high-volume bus lines of Columbia Pike. Within the transit areas, the government has a policy of encouraging mixed-use and pedestrian and transit-oriented development. Some of these urban village communities include, in 2002 Arlington received the EPA's National Award for Smart Growth Achievement for Overall Excellence in Smart Growth. Quote, in 2005, the county implemented an affordable housing ordinance that requires most developers to contribute significant affordable housing resources, either in units or through a cash contribution, in order to obtain the highest allowable amounts of increased building density in new development projects, most of which are planned near metro rail station areas. A number of the county's residential neighborhoods and larger garden style apartment complexes are listed in the National Register of Historic Places and or designated under the county government's zoning ordinance as local historic preservation districts. These include Arlington Village, Arlington Forest, Ashton Heights, Buckingham, Cherrydale, Claremont, Colonial Village, Fairlington, Leon Park, Leon Village, Maywood, Penrose, Waverley Hills and Westover. Many of Arlington County's neighborhoods participate in the Arlington County Government's Neighborhood Conservation Program. Each of these neighborhoods has a Neighborhood Conservation Plan that describes the neighborhood's characteristics, history and recommendations for capital improvement projects that the county government funds through the NCP county in the colony of Virginia. Land grants from the British monarch were awarded to prominent Englishmen in exchange for political favors and efforts at development. One of the grantees was Thomas Fairfax, 6th Lord Fairfax of Cameron, who lends his name to both Fairfax County and the city of Fairfax. The name Arlington goes back to Henry Bennett, Earl of Arlington, the namesake of a plantation, Arlington Plantation along the Potomac River, and Arlington House, the family residence on that property. George Washington Park Custis, grandson of First Lady Martha Washington, acquired this land in 1802. The estate was eventually passed down to Mary Ann Custis Lee, wife of General Robert E. Lee. The property later became Arlington National Cemetery. Arlington County is a county in the Commonwealth of Virginia. 
It is coterminous with the U.S. Census Bureau census-designated place of Arlington, which is the second-largest principal city of the Washington metropolitan area. As a result, the county is often referred to in the region simply as Arlington, or Arlington, Virginia. In 2015, the county's population was estimated at 229,164, which would make it the fourth largest largest city in the Commonwealth if it were incorporated as such. The land that became Arlington was originally donated by Virginia to the United States government to form part of the new federal capital district of Columbia. On February 27, 1801, a year after moving from the temporary Nash is also the location of national memorials and museums, including Arlington National Cemetery, the Pentagon Memorial, the Marine Corps War Memorial and the United States Air Force Memorial. It is the highest income county in the United States by median family income, though it has the highest concentration of singles in the region, according to a 2016 study by Bankrate. Com. Arlington is the best place to retire, with nearby Alexandria coming in at second place. Criteria of the study included cost of living, rates of violent and property crimes, walkability, health care quality, state and local tax rates, weather, local culture and well-being for senior citizens, history, foundation. The area that now constitutes Arlington County was originally part of Fairfax East, with a land area of 26 square miles. Arlington is the geographically smaller self-governing county in the United States, and due to state law regarding population density, has no other incorporated towns within its borders. Due to the county's proximity to downtown Washington, D.C., Arlington is headquarters to many departments and agencies of the federal government of the United States, including the Department of Defense at the Pentagon, Drug Enforcement Administration, Transportation Security Administration, and Defense Advanced Research Projects Agency. It is also home to Ronald Reagan Washington National Airport. The many federal agencies, government contractors, and service industries contribute to Arlington's stable economy. Arlington National Capital at Philadelphia to the city of Washington. The United States Congress organized the area as a subdivision of the district named Alexandria County. In 1846, Congress returned the land southwest of the Potomac River donated by Virginia due to issues involving congressional representation and the abolition of slavery. The General Assembly of Virginia changed the county's name to to Arlington in 1922 to avoid confusion with the adjacent city of Alexandria. The county is situated in northern Virginia on the south bank of the Potomac River directly across from Washington, D.C. Arlington is also bordered by Fairfax County and City of Falls Church to the northwest, west and southwest, and the city of Alexandria to the south.